good morning you guys and welcome to my channel i'm coming to you today with a video i told you guys that i would do a rice water video so this is a do-it-yourself rice water video and it's how i'm going to do it so i just have a bag of white rice and i'm going to use the measuring cup that comes with my rice cooker I'm going to put about one and a half cups of rice into the bowl. And I'm going to rinse this. So I'm just going to let it sit for a little while. This is the water and the rice sorry about the lighting guys i just blew a light bulb in my kitchen and let me see what else i need to do you guys hear my dishwasher going in the uh, background that's what you hear i'm in the kitchen home to many videos that i'll be doing so this is the rice water well, it's the rice soaking. And as you can see, some stuff is starting to come off of it. You just want to rinse it and get that dirt off of it. I don't know about you guys, but when I cook rice, I rinse it. And then I put it in a strainer. So you see me just twirling the rice around in the bowl to clean it some more. And look how dirty the water is, guys. You see how murky it is? that's the dirt and impurities and dust from the rice being processed in the factory and don't ask me what kind of rice that was i have no idea because i threw the bag away it might have been zatarin's yeah zatarin's long grain white rice that's what that was and you just see the murkiness oh and to think if you don't wash your rice that's what you eat I don't know where my small strainer is, so I'm just going to use just a regular strainer. And of course, you'll lose, if you use one like this, you'll lose some of your rice grains they'll fall through but the majority will stay so now i have my bowl i have rosemary sage lavender y'all know i love lavender and peppermint i love peppermint as well those are all the oils that i'm going to infuse into the rice water i'm just using a simple glad to no this is a ziploc container and it is three cups so i'm just going to put the rice into this I'll try to get as much of it out as I can. If I don't get it all, that's fine. So now what I'm going to do is take this rice and it comes up to hold on guys. This actually has the measurements on it. So it comes up to a cup of rice. One full cup of rice. Okay, I filled it all the way to the top, which makes it a full three cups. I have a lemon. Recommendations say you can add some citrus peel to it. So I just take off the peel 
And I'll reserve the lemon for like tea or something like that. I'm gonna put two strips in the water. And I'm just gonna add probably two drops of each. This is peppermint oil that I'm starting with. Two drops. That is two drops of lavender. This is sage. Y'all, my drops don't want to drop. Two drops of sage. And all of these oils that I'm using encourage hair growth and stimulate the scalp. This is rosemary. Rosemary and sage especially. I put three drops of that in there. That was an accident. And so now I'm going to close this and I'm going to let it ferment, which means I'm going to let it sit out for 24 hours and see what it looks like in 24 hours. So I'll come back to you guys in 24 hours and show you guys what the end result is and how I'm going to store it and use it. See you guys in the next video.